Happy New Year to you all. We recently moved and I had to go through the whole process of redoing the home again. Thankfully, it was just about reconfiguring the things they already bought, like this mirror here, so it took a lot less time. Back in Singapore, we live in an apartment and so we wanted something different for the remainder of our time here. We love the outdoors and wanted a place that we could hang out at home and possibly a place to grow vegetables. There's currently nothing here other than a grill and some planters because we are still waiting for it to get warmer before we start filling this space. Although we did plant some potatoes a while ago but it seems like they have not germinated yet. This place also looks pretty sweet at night, especially with fairy lights on. And we're looking for it to spring so that we can make full use of it. And this kitchen is one of the key reasons why we picked this place. We love that it is a separate space from the living and dining area, unlike in our previous apartment. We do a lot of cooking and hate having smells and oil particles floating all over the living area and love how we can shut the doors now whenever we cook. It was recently renovated so everything is new and modern. It also has loads of storage. I now realise the importance of enough storage space for our living needs and this kitchen is perfect for the amount of stuff that we have. We organise the kitchen stuff by the frequency of use, putting them close to where we usually use them. This Lazy Susan for our pots is one of my favourite features. Over here in this corner, we use this space for breakfast preparation. It is especially useful for my husband who always needs his morning coffee. Some other useful features are this dual oven thingy that allows us to bake two things at a time, a nice chiller for the wines that were overflowing in our bar cart, and this nifty little ice dispenser that gives me a free flow of crushed ice. We absolutely love our new living room. Even with the same furniture, somehow it feels totally different from our old space. We spent so much time watching Netflix on this couch. Oh, and we also got a rug to complete the look of the space and it has made it a lot cozier. And this painting we have here is new. We recently decided it was time to start collecting some artwork and absolutely love this piece. I'm a huge fan of modern swanky interior designs but this place has an old charm with the fireplace and inbuilt shelves. And I know Christmas has passed but we are definitely trying to stretch out the festive season by making the best use of our Christmas tree before it starts to dry up. We've been slowly building up our sound system and we got a subwoofer to add on to our Sono soundbar and check out how much bass it adds to our sound system. My husband has also taken a new interest in starting fires. He does them a few times a week and it's been really fun being able to do seasonal stuff in our new home. And sometimes we have friends over as well to enjoy it with us. It's the morning after and I've decided to keep the wood ash instead of trashing it 
to do some experimenting with ash glazes for pottery. And of course our beloved bar cart has a prominent place in our living room but it's a lot less cluttered because the wines are now in the chiller. And this is the December 7th print of The New Yorker and pretty much sums up all 2020 COVID life. And this is our dining area. He has exactly the same furniture, only that we have made the decor a lot more minimalist. Oh, and guess where my kiln is? We have an extra bathroom for guests and it is rarely used. It is pretty small with just the toilet and sink and has retro decor. And I fire my pottery here with the doors closed and the ventilator on. Oh, by the way, I will be sharing a video on tips on how to set up a kiln at home soon. I like to be upstairs most of the day because my pottery studio is here. It is a tiny space but way better than my previous home as I was doing pottery in the hallway. Also, I'll probably do a more detailed tour of the studio in another video as well. My working space is also upstairs. I've taken over his original work table and it is now in our master bedroom and I use it for studying and whenever I'm working on a laptop. It also helps that this room is the warmest in our home. It's nice and toasty because it gets a lot of sunlight. And this room is exactly the same size as our original bedroom and in exactly the same configuration. The only difference is that we get separate closets with plenty of storage space. And this is his bathroom, simple with geometric patterns and some wooden accents. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys the floor grout because I scrubbed them squeaky clean and white. And this is my bathroom. It has softer colours but is essentially the same. I love the inbuilt cabinet so the basin can be relatively clutter free. And that's it for our new home tour. We have been living in it for about 2 plus months now and we love how we can do seasonal stuff like lighting up the fireplace during winter. And when spring comes around, we are excited to extend our living room to the patio as well. Most of all, we love having our friends come over to enjoy the space with us.